met a boy who makes me happy. I met a boy who makes me laugh. He knows me from the inside out, even though he forgets my favorite color. I talk to my parents about him. My friends, they all seem to like him. They say he's a keeper, and I, oh, I'm falling. But he has to go. The clock is ticking. Time may be running a little slow, but Manhattan's waiting. What will we do? This boy I met, he's on my mind. He looks at me and says, "You're mine." And even though it's not been long, it feels like we've been here before. Time may be running a little slow, but Manhattan's waiting. What will we do? What will we say? Will we pretend everything's okay? I'll take the Greyhound, his favorite T-shirt. I couldn't stop staring, looking into your lovely eyes. And at first I was a little bit nervous, but you made me feel alright. I just wanna see you again, and I didn't know how this would end. But to you, this was just a fling. Should forget about you, what a pain Do you even remember my name? You were so sweet, I couldn't get you out my head And in two days, I fell for you But I guess I shouldn't think about you anymore You don't really care, do you? It was just one of those things that you do Is something I'll remember. Your warm touch is something that I miss. And you took me on a roller coaster. We got stuck, but made it all the way. I just wish you'd call me again and tell me that it's not the end. But to you, this was a one time thing. I guess I should forget about you. What a pain. Do you even remember the?
Hey there, everyone, and welcome to Tiny Room Studios Tuesday Night Singer Songwriter Spotlight. My name is Mo Corbett, and I'll be hosting this evening. If you've been here before and watched these streams, welcome back. So glad to have you. And if this is your first time, welcome in. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, every Tuesday we do a singer songwriter spotlight in which we highlight a Los Angeles based artist and allow them to share their music with us. It is my favorite time of the week, and I'm so glad to be back here. This week, I am so thrilled to announce Sayaka. I 
Okay, so this next song is called Selfish of Me, and it's a song about growing up. Do you ever wish for something new? missing and I don't know why when I was younger all I had were big dreams big dreams now I'm missing simple days as I grow older all I have are mountains of 
problems the little girl that I used to know is gone Am I selfish to say that I wish for a change even though I adore what I have Tell me how do I grow up, grow strong, grow bold when I lose the ones I love the most when I go by but time moves slow stress and foreign gets old oh i haven't been myself in a while or maybe this is what my life is now and i go older all i have are big dreams big dreams now simple days as I go older all I have are mountains of problems the little girl that I used to know is gone am I selfish to say that I wish for a change even though I adore what I have tell me When surviving gets harder each day Just when I think I'm on my way Thank you so much. <laughs> So, this next song is a song that I wrote about getting in my head. <laughs> um, so, hopefully none of you relate, but maybe some of you do. Memories 
are fading while I press rewind and lose track of time. But I can't live like this, making these excuses, moving one step forward and then going two steps backwards. Something's got to change. The pressure's eating at me. Caring about the wrong things I wanna say fuck what other people think But I'm getting in my way I don't know what else to say Cause I'm getting in my, getting in my, getting in my way I feel alone in my own home And I got no place to go Thinking here just as I lay That I need some better day the second to last song and it is called Maybe and it is a song that I wrote when I was in a relationship during the pandemic and um, I didn't know whether we were going to do long distance or not <clears throat> so the title is Maybe It'll Work Out. Surprise it did not work out but I got a good song out of it and that's really all that matters. <laughs> all right. <laughs>
clock is ticking Time might be running a little slow But Manhattan's waiting What will we do? What will we say? Will we pretend everything's okay? I'll take the Greyhound's favorite t-shirt My bag and a pack of gum And maybe, just maybe Thank you so much. <laughs> you can actually find this one on all streaming platforms. It's maybe, parentheses, it'll work out. All right, for the next one, I'm going to switch guitars really quickly. Alrighty, this, is a, this last song is about my grandmother. She unfortunately passed away, but we were very close. So it's called Hummingbird, and Hummingbird is metaphorical. Because um, there were sort, sort of like some signs. I kept seeing hummingbirds everywhere. And I was like, maybe she's here? All right. Hummingbird in the sky, tell me what you've seen. Did you see the flowers bloom in May? Did you rest your wings? Years have come to pass since you've lived in my dreams. So hummingbird, whisper in my ear all that you see. So far away, did you hear me sing? Have you seen the person I've become? Are you proud of me? Though it's been a while since you and I shared a conversation. So hummingbird, tell me. I see you when I close my eyes You come to visit once in a while Resting by my window sill I'm reminded you're no longer here with me Thank you, everybody, for listening. Hi. Oh, my God, you're here. <laughs>
Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm sitting here with Sayaka after her set. Thank you so much. Oh, well, thank you for having me. <laughs> of course, it's an absolute pleasure to listen to all of that original music thank that you, you wrote. Uh, you. Now, now those songs, those six songs that you did, are those recent rights or is some new? Uh... Yeah, so the first one I played was actually pretty old. Like I think I wrote that over two years ago. Everything else I wrote within the last couple of months. Incredible. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we were chatting a little bit before this because because we had just met and, and you mentioned you, you just recently graduated from Berkeley. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> so how, how long have you been back in L.A.? Because it's where you grew up. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually graduated a semester early and I came back in December of Wow, last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's been a minute since I've graduated, but I went back uh, for the ceremony, which was really beautiful. Um, and yeah. Great. So, so since coming back to LA, you found a lot of motivation and, and creativity to, to write those pieces? Definitely. Um, yes and no. Sometimes I felt creatively stuck. Sometimes it's better when you're in an environment like Berkeley where everyone's doing music all the time that it almost inspires you to kind of do your own thing as well. Whereas it was a huge adjustment to kind of like go back and adjust to a life where that's not always happening and you have to push yourself to do things and you don't have a schedule or school telling you the things that you need to do essentially. But it's also been useful in a sense um, that I've also felt a sense of being a little bit lost and kind of just in direction. And so help, uh, songwriting has like helped me a lot with that. And it's been easier to find motivation to write songs when I feel I'm struggling with something. <laughs> so, yeah. Totally get that. You know, I sit here with other artists and, and a lot of them are transplants. A lot of people move to LA to make music. Mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm. you were lucky enough to grow up here and their experiences they find the communities here and the creative spaces to work. What you're saying is you had that structure for so long, and so now coming back and adjusting to, like, going outside of your comfort zone and, like, coming outside of your mm -hmm. bubble to, to meet those spaces and find it. Yeah, I mean, like, Los Angeles is super spread out, so I feel like you really have to look, but I'm still finding that community, and I'm still finding... Um, a lot of different kinds of things that are going on in LA, because I was here as a kid and as a high schooler, and it's so different to be here as that versus an adult trying to pursue a career. So it's definitely been an adjustment. It's definitely been a bit of a challenge, but I'm still finding that. And luckily, a lot of people from Berkeley do come to LA. So I'm happy that my friends are also back here and I can work with them, see them, and you know, feel just as inspired as well. Yeah, we, we happened to be at the same show last night at the yes. Troubadour, the legendary so Troubadour, uh, and that's an example of a bunch of Berkeley people getting together and making magic happen on stage. Absolutely. That was incredible and super inspiring. I loved every minute of it, so, yeah. Yeah, amazing. So, uh, just a bit about your, your songs. Um, your second to last one you said is out on streaming platforms, but majority of the songs you played tonight um, are, are just played live at this time. Yes, yes. I am definitely looking to record them and have them produced very soon. Um, but yes, Maybe is out on all streaming platforms, and that one was released in February. It's got like a really beautiful string arrangement, some background vocals. It's really nice. Oh, gorgeous. Definitely <laughs> will have to, to check out that Please. version. Especially <laughs> after hearing the live one today. It's always so nice to hear the studio oh, version. Thanks. And the song about your, your grandmother is so gorgeous. So thanks for sharing that little oh, piece about it at the thank you so much. front, too, as someone who I'm also super close to my nana. So I was like getting a little emotional, so it was really beautiful. It's hard. L loss is hard. I feel like I've been going through so much in such a short period of time. Just, you know, growing up in general, going through loss, going through heartbreak, going through different adventures and, you know, finding new love and whatever, you know, there's yeah, so and much. Yeah, transitioning, coming yeah, out yeah. of like being a student your whole life and mm -hmm. the next grade, the next grade, the next yep. grade, and then all of a yep. sudden you, you have this degree and it's like, mm -hmm. wait, I'm supposed to go... Yep. do what now <laughs> <laughs> sure sure yeah yeah exactly so it's it's yeah it's a lot but you know life is also something to look forward to and it's exciting as, as well like all these things and songwriting really helps me and like 
like honestly, it really helps me cope with everything that I go through. So I love it. Amazing. Well, thanks for sharing all that. How, how can we support you? People watching, people listening, myself included. What does that look like? Um, well, okay. Um, following me on Instagram would be a nice start. I, at the moment, I'm definitely in the works of finding a producer and kind of getting my songs all uh, recorded and produced and things like that. But like once that's set, I'm going to release the music, do promo for it and stuff, and all of that will be on my Instagram. So that would be super helpful. Incredible. Well, thanks for having, uh, thanks for coming and being here with us and spending time and sharing your, your art and your beautiful songs. And it has been an absolute pleasure to be with you today. So Hi. everyone, Thank thanks for, for watching. Um, you can find Sayaka on Instagram. Her handle is this is Sayaka. That's S-A-Y-A-K-A. -A -A. Um, <laughs> three A's. And yeah, give her a follow there. That's where she'll be updating about live performance about any project she's working on there. Um, and as always, you can, you can find me here on Tuesday nights uh, hosting the singer-songwriter spotlight here at Tiny Room Studios. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. <laughs>